back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys! So I am here today to do this week's Babbles topic, which is part of the Booktube SFF Babbles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you may have heard of the Booktube SFF Awards, which is an awards that we do each year. I'm one of the judges and there are a couple others. I'll link the Goodreads group down below. We've currently announced the shortlist, so the read-alongs have started from the 1st of March onwards, so do go and check out what read-alongs are happening and you can see it all on the Goodreads group. And we also have a Twitter, so I'll link that below for you as well and you can go check that out where we tweet about all the things that are coming up. The Babbles are part of the ongoing kind of drive to keep everyone interested, talk about science fiction and fantasy, and just generally have good fun. So this week's topic is favourite anti-heroes in fantasy. And anti-hero is kind of someone that you're rooting for even though you know that you probably shouldn't be. So there are quite a few examples that I've managed to come up with off of my shelves and I'm going to tell you which are my favourite ones and why and also tell you why I think you should read these series that they're from because they are great. The first one I have to talk about is Malta from the Live Ship series by Robin Hobb. Malta is the younger sister of the Vestriot family. She is quite a spoiled young girl. She doesn't really get her own way then she throws a bit of a tantrum and she's quite irritating throughout the entirety of the book. However, as the story goes on, you can't help but really like Malta because she completely changes her tune in the later part of the series and Malta actually becomes an incredibly important character. The whole way through reading this series, I remember everyone else that I was buddy reading with was like, oh, I hate Malta, why do we have Malta? She's so annoying, she just doesn't really interest me, she's really bad and rubbish. And I just loved her throughout. She is whiny, she is bratty, she's spoiled, and yet she has a spark to her. She doesn't conform, she does her own thing, she's fun, she's feisty, she just really didn't irritate me. She found, I found her really fun. So I really liked her. She was a bit of an anti-hero because although she turns out to be a hero later on, she's just a really irritating character. But I loved reading about her and I would thoroughly recommend all of Robin Hobb's books, but particularly I love the Live Ship series. I just think it's excellent. It can be read completely on its own, so you could start with this one and be fine. But yeah, I really, really recommend this series and Look out for Malta if you read it. I'd love to know whether you think she's brutally annoying or completely fascinating and wonderful like I do. The next one I have is possibly not a surprise. It's a character from The Lord of the Rings and that is Gollum or Smeagol, however you want to say it. Gollum's character is one of the few characters in Lord of the Rings that I just really relate to. I do not find Lord of the Rings one of my all-time favourite series. It's actually a series that I've never been able to finish. I've only read the first two books and The Hobbit. I've never read the third one. I've still got it on my shelves. I will eventually get there, but I've never read it. But I've seen the films, um, so I know the story. When I was reading, I think Gollum and Smeagol were like the one character that just I really connected with. I found, I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing to say or not, but Smeagol is a character who just he's so innocent. He didn't ever want the life that he has. He actually ends up in a really bad situation where he gets drawn to the ring, which is the root of this story, and it ruins his life completely. He becomes obsessed, he becomes part of this demony creature, and he's such a likeable character. He's really beastly and horrible, but he actually has a really sad backstory, and I just find him so sad and so lovable and I know he's bad and he does bad things to the hobbits which is never good but like I really like him I just think he's great so he's one of my characters who is a great anti-hero for sure. Another one that I want to talk about is Royce from the duo Hadrian and Royce in the Rearia books. There are quite a lot of books in this series by Sullivan and I really recommend the whole series so if you haven't read it try it out. But Royce and Hadrian are a band of thieves and mercenaries for hire. Royce was a thief before he met Hadrian and then since meeting him they've done a little bit more honest work. Um, Hadrian's quite a straight arrow, he definitely doesn't like breaking rules unless he has to but Royce, Royce loves breaking the rules and Royce is quite a good thief. He's very very talented and he's also quite manipulative to Hadrian. He knows how to get under his skin and they're quite an interesting funny duo. They work really well together, they bounce off of one another and they're really amusing to read about. So 
if you've not already tried this series I would thoroughly recommend it but yeah Royce is definitely my favourite. He also has some interesting past secrets that you learn about throughout the series and that make him even more intriguing. He's definitely a bit more of a hero than an anti-hero but he just he does some bad things at times. He's certainly not a completely nice guy that's for sure. Another series that I really enjoy is this one. It is the Lies of Loch Lamora series and of course Loch Lamora is the character I'm going to be talking about. Again this one focuses largely on a sort of band of thieves um, and we're following them as they kind of conduct all sorts of heists and things like that. Locke is our main character. He is a bit of an anti-hero because he is someone who is doing things against the law of the world but he believes it to be for the greater good. He's kind of like a Robin Hood character and I really really like him. He's very witty and the story so far for these books has been great. It is a series that is currently unfinished um, and hopefully will be finished one day but doesn't really have a scheduled release but I think it's well worth reading still because this series is one of my favourites. It has some really great twists and turns and Locke is a character who you just can't help liking even when he's doing dodgy things. He's quite like Royce so I couldn't sort of put one in without the other. I think they're very similar and yet they both have their own personalities and do their own very uh, questionable motives and questionable deeds so I like them both. And the final one from a novel that I have to talk about is Jorg um, or Jorg, I'd never know how you say it, Prince of Thorn series which is by uh, Mark Lawrence. He is bad, like properly bad, he is completely not someone you would ever like if you met them in real life, like you would never want to meet this guy, he is evil, he is pretty evil. He has reasons for being evil, that's for sure, but he is definitely not someone you would ever want to meet if you could help it. And I really like his character. I really enjoyed this series by Mark Lawrence, I think it's a lot of fun. I definitely do think this is really dark, so um, possibly not one to read unless you're into grimdark stuff, because this is definitely grimdark. I really like Jorg and his adventures, and I can't help but say he's great to read about, even though he's horrible, so yeah, again like Gollum, not sure if that's something I should say, but I really like him as a character, so oh well. He's great and definitely Mark Lawrence is worth reading as well, so check his books out. Finally, I have two from graphic novel or comic series, so I wanted to tell you about them as well because they're kind of anti-heroes too. The first one is our main character from Monstrous and this is Micah. Um, you can see her on the front cover. We follow her as she is battling her inner demon. She has for some reason got this demon inside of her that suddenly bursts out and destroys things and she really has a hard time controlling it especially when she gets into emotional or heated situations which happens quite a lot in this comic and when she lets this monster outside of her it does horrible things, it destroys, it kills, it maims, it's not a nice thing at all but she as a character is really strong and really powerful and she's someone who is just trying to do the best for the people she loves and the people that she thinks deserve better than they are getting currently. She is fantastic as a character, I really really like her and the art style of this is absolutely beautiful as you can see. Um, this is her like releasing the monster a bit so you can see it kind of dark and swirly. You wouldn't want to be faced against her but yeah this art is incredible, this story is great and this main character is again very much an anti-hero rather than a pure hero but someone that I can't help rooting for and someone that I really want to know more about every time I read a volume of this series. And then the last character is another female one from a comic and this is Lady Mechanica. I love this series, it's one of my all-time faves. Um, it's quite an underhyped series and not that many people seem to know about it. I personally like the sort of pin-up art that this author does. The character of Lady Mechanica is so damn cool. She is really really badass. She completely kills um, loads of bad guys. She is kind of running from the law herself and she kind of keeps her life and her adventures quite on the down low. She doesn't really tell people about them. She's badass though. She's completely badass and I love her adventures. Again this is a graphic novel that has incredible artwork. It's absolutely beautiful and Lady Mechanica is just badass. Like she's super duper cool. As you can see she also has like mechanical hands and she's pretty powerful with them and I just oh, I love her she's so good she's very ladies first and power to the people who need help and stuff like that and I, I love her so those are my kind of favorite anti-heroes caught up with every single one of them because they're all favorites of mine so I love them all, I would thoroughly recommend them all and I would love to have your comments about which ones you've read. Feel free to join in with the babbles yourself, you can do it in Twitter, video, 
blog, whatever format works for you, we'd love to have you join in. Just use the hashtag and let us know. And also if there's any others like anti-heroes that you think I've missed from series on my shelves, something I've not included. I'm certain there's probably a million from Game of Thrones alone, but yeah, I'd love to have your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again